What's up? What's going on, guys? What's going on? How are you? Hi. Oh my God, I curled my hair today. Um, hi, I'm really glad you guys are here today. I, um, I've been doing some things, putting a lot of effort in, trying to not screw up. So that's what we're going for today. No screw ups. Hello, Helpo. Pamela Avery. Hello, Helpo, she says. Um, yeah, so we're doing some things today, guys. We're doing some things. Um, I received a little happy mail today, which you guys love. Um, and I have no idea what it is. I haven't really looked at it, but all I know is that when I got it, well, when I talked to Alyssa today, she's like, good luck with the molds today. So I don't know what that's supposed to mean. I don't know if they're hard or if they're big or what they are, but whatever. She's like punking me about them. So we'll see what that's all about. I have no clue. No clue whatsoever. I'm just going to wait for a couple more people to get on. I cut something on the cricket so that we could try and be productive today. We're going to try and do something good. I'm going to try and do something good. Like my, um, my title of this live is let's point of view. Let's try and not screw up something amazing that I did. Um, which you guys know it's. It's a 50 50 chance it's th it's thursday i did put the dogs outside because they were being loud and annoying loud and annoying that's my dogs um i don't really know how i'm gonna do this yet i'm not quite sure I'm not quite sure how this is gonna work but this is the cup that we did with the i want glitter glitter um, the other day we worked on, um, getting all the epoxy off the tape because I forgot to take the tape off the tumbler. So, um, I've decided, I finally found the burst that summer, you know what this sweatshirt has like iridescent glitter spots on it. And when I look over, it looks like dandruff. I'm always like, mah, 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 mah. and actually one time when I was with Jeff, he like wiped my shoulder off thinking it was dandruff, which is adorable. Um, but anyways, I found the burst that Summer used on hers that I want to put on this. I'm just not sure how I want to do it because I do not want to screw up this cup because it's so beautiful. Look how beautiful it is. It's so beautiful. <coughs> so beautiful. Anyways, let's talk about what's on sale today because that's also interesting. I put the dogs to oh, you know what came today? Jeff, leave me alone. I'm on a live. Actually, guys, hey, hold on a second because I'm going to um, put airplane mode on so that people can't bother me. There's already some really, really good ones. Sorry, guys. Just hang out. Hi. Uh, my internet's not that great. I live in the country, guys. Just slow down. Um, What came today is my bead mold so I could finish my bead pen. The last step of my battle box. 
is my bead pen and we need to create some beads. So we're gonna fill up this little bead mold today. I think we're gonna do it with UV resin. Cause I want instant satisfaction. Airplane kills sound. No, it's better. It just takes a second. Airplane, airplane doesn't kill sound. It's the low Wi-Fi in my house that kills the sound. Um, so I need to grab the battle box glitter. Where did I put it? I think it's in here somewhere. I need a little container. I need some hard pure UV resin. I need a stick. I need a mat. Ugh. Can we all sit down like that? Like just complete flop down. Flop. The flop. Flop, 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 flop. All righty. Let's find this. Here it is. This is the glitter that was in the, um, the battle box that we are supposed to fill. Um, so I'm sorry, I, I keep getting sidetracked. Sidetracked, guys. We've got some really great stuff on the website today. And then I'll get into projects. First things first. I don't even know what these molds are. So we're not going to look at them yet because Alyssa already has me scared. But this is how I get them. So I can't see what they are. Which is real nice. Is there anything else in there? No, why did I get two pieces of cardboard? I, get, I save all my cardboard and send it back to them because the cardboard costs us like 37 cents a sheet. So I send it all back. Um, packaging is not cheap, people. Packaging is not cheap. Um, anyway, so the first thing, ooh, there is this um, like coffee and reading instant transfer. And there's like all kinds of different sizes. This would be great for a pen. That's really great. Ooh. Oh my God. Mm. A little hot chocolate or mochas. How stinking cute is that? With the little kawaii faces on them. Oh, I love this one right here. Oh, that's so cute. I know this IT is so me. That one or the book one? Um, can I tell you what's really funny is that I looked at the um, the sheet today and it said coffee and tea gnomes or whatever. And I look at Alyssa and I was like, Alyssa, why wouldn't you give me the silver sleek one? Like that is the first, like, first of all, I reordered those as an instant transfer without permission just because I really liked it. So you guys better buy it up um, because I really liked it and I think it's super versatile um, and can be like any season or whatever. Um, plus I like leopard print, you know, like that, <coughs> but she launched it yesterday and gave me coffee and tea. I don't drink coffee. Number one, number two, I'm allergic to tea, but she gave me the coffee and tea ones. But look at these little gnomies with all the little cups of Java. How adorable are those? And again, there's like pen size. And there's like keychain size, and there's like a mug size, and then there's another cup size. So you guys have like gnomes for days with this one. And this sheet, I think, is only like, I don't know, six bucks or something. Um, but it's got all these little coffee beans around them. How stinking cute is that? Um, but yes, but this, this is a 100% me. And I'm really excited to have this in my life. And also, I'm a huge reader. Um, and I am obsessed with these books. So I'm really excited to use that on a cup. And I was actually thinking of um, using these on my green cup. Right? Because this is my snack cup. So I think that we are going to... Um, to put that on the snack cup because I think that the green is going to work really, really beautifully. So we now are going to find a glitter to go into the green cup and we're going to use that. I'm going to save this for my hot cocoa mug. Um, just so that everybody knows, no, really, they will be good for gift cups. That could be cocoa with books for surezies. All right. So all of those instant transfers are on the website today. 
Plus, I believe that there's 15 bead molds left. There's round ones and hexagons. Um, so those are coming. So for all of you guys, we sell bead pens all the time. And I saw some people didn't have the bead molds. Um, and so they had bought some wooden beads and then like epoxied over them. That's totally cool too. Um, but I'm going to use this little bead mold too because I have it. And then there's this. Oh my God. Is that what I think it is? Oh, is that a fish bowl? House? No, it's a bag. It's a fish bag. Oh my God, how cute is that? Wait, what is this one? What is this? No, this is a little fish bag. And you can put some little fishies in there. So it says it's a fish bag. Oh my God, it looks like a little Ziploc bag. That you can put like little oh my gosh how stinking cute all right this is what i'm gonna do i i'm gonna do this today do i have any like fish anything god i wish i had that goldfish mold um how hard are the beads to get out of the mold cindy we're gonna do it today so just stay tuned because we're gonna do it with instant transfer um but first of all this little bag mold is adorable and so i'm gonna fill this up with clear so the top of the bag is clear and this is clear and then i'm gonna put like blue epoxy dye in and then we're gonna do blue epoxy dye so that it looks like water is filled up halfway in this bag and i'm gonna find a little goldfish oh or maybe i could put like instant transfer goldfish or like um vinyl goldfish or something on the outside oh my god do we see this how stinking cute is this? Mmm. And this is a fish bowl. That's so cool. I gotta find some fish. I wonder if we can like a pot goldfish and stick goldfish in there. I bet you can. I bet you can't do I have any goldfish. I used to have so much. I used to have goldfish. I don't think I have any, but I think we're gonna go to the store and we're gonna get some goldfish. And we're gonna epoxy this and put some goldfish in there. Ooh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited for this. I know, so I'm just a little goldfish mold before. I think it was a little big. I can make a water slide goldfish, yes. However, I think I'm going to epoxy like goldfish crackers in here. Yes, I am. Did you miss the sneak peek for Battle Box? Mary, you did not because I don't have the Battle Box because Nikki Jennings is gonna be our Battle Box moderator. There is no sneak peek for Battle Box. However, let's do our hard cure beads. We're gonna do beads. So I need to find, I have a little pipette. Um, I have this pipette, but I don't know if it's gonna go around the beads or not. I mean, I could just cut the tip on the pipette because I saw somebody, <laughs> Summer just texted me, Jet, dancing like no one is watching, which means there's a really cute photo attached. And I can't see it because I'm working. Um, I don't know if UV resin, hard cure resin is going to be too thick. Like, I don't know. Let's just scoop it in there. Let's just stick it in. We're just going to see. We're just going to see. It's fine. Since the gratification time. I also feel like I should pull my hair back. Two more rows for your battle box. There was a koi fish mold, I know. I know, but I'm pretty sure that there's, I wish I would have thought to buy goldfish crackers. I don't have anything with fish crackers in it. I should call the neighbor. I could text Patty and see if she's going to go fish crackers and never bring them down. Oh, Summer just sent a movie. Adorable. I had to put the dogs outside because they're being so annoying. And I can hear Tank out there barking and come in. It's not raining yet, so he can stay outside. All right, let's use the speed mold coming down. You're coming down. All right. 
So here is the glitter that was in the battle box this month. It was a custom mix that I did myself. Um, I did it myself. So if you don't like this week's, this month's glitter, sorry, Charlie. Um, the, uh, battle box, I actually already gave it to the person who I already gifted it to my friend Deanna and she absolutely loves it. So we're going to hurry up and do this because this is, um, we made this with um, ah, UV resin and it is quite sunny here. So I'm gonna do this quick before it cures on me. So I'm just gonna give it a stir real quick and just drop it in. I'm just gonna have to like work it around. Get in there, get in there. I'm gonna cover this up so it doesn't get stupid. Well, I'm trying to work this into that little hole. Is there a trick to this, guys? It's this I am working on. Whatever I'm doing is not liking it. Chunky glitter inside these little holes. I wish you could put this on speakerphone so I could hear what you guys are saying and hear you guys yelling at me like, Use the pipe bat! Don't do that! Do that! I feel like this is working. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. All right. I'm supposed to ride the horse today at 5.30. So we'll see if that happens. So by putting that that jar over the, um, the epoxy, that means that the sunlight can't get in there and it can't pre-cure my epoxy. So that's what I'm trying to avoid by doing that. Meanwhile, um, this is the bead mold. You guys were just finishing up the, I got really excited that the bead mold came. So I'm just going to try one bead and we can always play with the rest. But you guys, I think there's only 15 bead molds left. So if you want your bead mold, you better get on that. Um, especially for your battle box. Um, and there's so many bead pens on the website right now and they're really good colors. Um, so just know that too. I should have probably been curing this like as I went because this is not um I should have been curing this as I went because this is not see-through glitter and it's very chunky it's hard to get into this hole because it's so chunky but i'm hoping the sunlight is kind of semi-curing everything in there i did spray this with epoxy before we started so or i sprayed this with um uv resin or UV resin. I'm out of my mind. I did spray this with alcohol before we started so that um, hopefully it would um, so that hopefully any air bubbles that are in there would get um, booted on out. So I'm going to take this bead mold and I'm just going to um, give it a little squeeze just in case there's any air bubbles in there. It'll like Push them out. Push them out. Now. All right, so in theory that should be done. I wonder if this is cured. Nope. All right, so let's see if we can find my um, UV light. If you guys don't know, I got a new craft area and I'm not quite sure where things are. Cause I've been organizing. Where you been, lad? Where would you live? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Found it. Oops. All right, so we're just going to throw the UV light on that for a little while and see what happens. Yes, BattleBox will go. Oh, BattleBox is going to go super fast. I do know. Is Nikki Jennings on here? Nikki Jennings, cover your ears because everything's getting mailed to you today. So you have it to start. But I believe there is a, what's it called? What kind of cow is Moco? A mini long haired orange cow. A mini one of these. There's a, um, there's a, a, a sticker with one of the, what is this thing? Scotland cow. I can't remember what it's called. A Shetland? No, it's a pony. Well, there's one of those in there. Oh, she showed the battle box yesterday. A heifer. A Highland cow. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, there's a Highland cow instant transfer in there. There's a flip top. I think there's a bead pen in there. There's all kinds of stuff in there. It's like a big battle box. There's a lot of things, a lot of things for fun inside this box. Um, so I'm just showing you guys how to make one bead and then we're going to get to going and doing some fun things. I mean, beads are fun, but listen, this is a prerequisite so I can finish my battle box. And I'm really excited about working on my new tumbler today and figuring out how many use today's new instant transfers? Um, and then I'm gonna start the fish mold. We're gonna do that with epoxy, but it's gonna be a couple of times. You know what? I could do it with UV resin because it's gonna be clear. Hmm. Yeah. Oh my God, and I can use the bubble glitter that I have. Ooh, I'm so excited to craft with you guys today. You just went to a watch, LOL. It's a tumbler sublimation pen and a keychain and the IT for bad. Oh, nice. No glitter and the IT is actually not a necessary. Really? Hmm. Hmm. All right. That's step one. So I'm going to flip my bead over and we're going to cure it from the bottom. I'm probably going to cure this bead from a couple different angles because that glitter is not usually I if I use UV resin, I either do like small layers or else I'll use like an opalescent glitter. And this is not opalescent. Well, some of it is opalescent, but it's mostly holographic because it's how I roll the holograph. Holographic. Um, and yeah, there's that. I hear the dogs yelling at somebody. I was excited that we can do these lives at three again because all of the cleaning people are gone by three. So that's great. Um, I really want to do this one, but I want to put the goldfish crackers in there. Let's just text Patty real quick and see if she's got any goldfish crackers. Then you guys can meet Patty. Let's just text her. Let's just take a second. Let's just take a second. Dear Patty. Oh my God, I hear the dogs going crazy. Patty, I'm live. Da, da, da. Any chance you have goldfish crackers? Question mark. I feel like I need to go get the dogs. They're barking at me in bozos. Oh my goodness. Be barking at every single person that drives by. Nobody wants to hear you, Ammo. Oh, my goodness, you guys. 
So I saw this TikTok today and it was like a picture of a German shepherd. And it was something about like, your neighbors are allowed to be in the backyard without your permission because they just bark all the time. Use your clear spray paint and spray paint them and let them dry seal before placing them in epoxy. Yes. Okay, I was just gonna cover them in UV resin before I stuck them in epoxy, but I could use clear spray paint too. That's cool. She has not responded yet. All right. Both your UV lamps died yesterday. You have another one coming tomorrow. Oh no, Mary. That's not cool. All right. I mean, this thing feels pretty hard. This thing feels pretty hard. Who knows what that inside circle part is going to be. All right. So somebody was asking, let's put this down. Somebody's asking if it's hard to get the beads out of the bead mold. And the answer is, I don't know this. I literally just got this bead mold today. Um, I've never had one before, so it's going to be new for all of us. So I'm literally just going to pop it like a zit. Oh, it comes right up. It's not hard at all. Boom. Out. Oh. Oh, yeah. Came right out. Came right out. So there's my little bead mold. It looks great. Let's stick it on the pen and see how it looks. So you just unscrew the back of the pen here and just jimmy it down. And you get, I mean, obviously we're going to make more than one, but how cute is that? Very cool. I've actually seen people take like straw toppers and feed a straw topper through there. So, oh, you know what somebody did? They gave it to me. I think it was a uh, Heidi Revis. This is the one that Heidi Revis made me. So she had a bigger bead mold and then she put a little spacer on and then she put this little straw topper. It was me. I said the same thing about it wasn't hard to do while you were pooping that out. LOL. <laughs> Shetland is a pony. I know. I said that. I corrected myself. Like, as we did it. Get off my case. Girl. Um. All right. All righty. Tink, I was actually just doing our taxes today. You know you placed 79 orders last year. <sighs> That's pretty awesome. But you didn't even have the most orders last year. There's other people that had the most orders. Sorry. Sorry, Tink. You did not win. Um, It's a blank slate battle box. Wow. I think you're behind, Tink. Pooping. Popping. Oh, I thought you... I mean, it was kind of like pooping. It was a big thing going out of a little hole. It's kind of like giving birth also. But how cool is that? That looks very fancy. I mean, I know you guys have all been doing bead molds forever, but I haven't. And I think that this is very cool. Um, Yeah. Burp, 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 burp. How cute is that? And then it's got the leopard print down there. And then I used the um, instant transfer, the qualifying instant transfer right there. And then this bead. So it looks like it can fit one, two, three beads. Three beads. Boom, 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 bada boom, bada boom. Oh, you know what? I got some of this instant, the, some of this stuff left. So let's fill one more bead and then we're going to go do fun stuff. How about that? Because I don't want this to go to waste. And it molds because it doesn't make sense. I mean, the other thing I could do is make more gummy bears, but I need a bead anyways. We're just going to do this. We're going to fill this bead mold one more time, real quick. Look, it already knows the way in. We've already done this once. That hole is just so small though. I would say though, based on my first bead, 
that when using this bead mold, I think it's a good idea to overfill it and to dome the butt so that, and you can always dig out the hole later, um, but otherwise it will like retract and leave like a divot kind of. I don't know how else to describe it. Um, so yeah. Um, I do know that people have said that using a pipette is incredibly easier, um, but I don't know if that's just for epoxy or for this, but these, this is chunky glitter, so I don't think it's going to fit in my pipette. So that's why I'm using this little wand here, the silicone stir stick to kind of jam it in there because this glitter is too chunky for my pipette. I'm kind of also pulling it a little. I mean, it's not gonna rip the mold. I can't pull that hard. I'm not like that strong. But I'm pulling it a little so that one, it doesn't get air bubbles. Two, it widens my hole a little bit and kind of like helps move things in and in. Oh, you can't see me. Sorry. Sorry, guys. Yeah. Sorry, this is what I'm doing right now. I'm just shoving more glitter into this little hole. But I was saying that I think that like, I'm gonna try and dome this one so that there's no divot in my bead. I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter because the beads sit together, but I got the glitter, why not try it? Because I can always like dig out, I was saying I can always dig out the this spiky thing again. Is that in there? Is that all the way? There. Let's just do that. I think it's all, all the way in there. So I'm going to give it a little squeeze to, like, in case there's any ear bubbles in there. A little squeeze. And uh, it refills the whole thing. There must have been an ear bubble because there's a lot of space now. All right. I'm just kind of cleaning up the outside, so then I'll gotta clean it up later. All right, so I've domed the top a little. Let's see if that works. And I'm actually done with this epoxy. So I'm going to take the cup off and I'm going to cure them both together so that I can clean up this cup and use this cup again. All right. There we go. Oh, I don't know where I got this on my hands from. But I'm pretty sure I touched something that I wasn't too supposed to. Hey, Tammy, girlfriend, Mary. Oh, Mary Cameron, what's going on? Hey, Tammy, what's going on? I love that you guys are all friends and you, like, know each other. You guys are internet friends. Have any of you guys tried to meet in real life? I know that Cassie and Tink met in real life. Um, I think that Mary Rodriguez and Kim might have met in real life. Have any of the rest of you guys met in real life? I feel like that'd be kind of cool if you did. Let's see if Patty responded about the goldfish. She hasn't responded yet. Erg. Erg. All right, looks like we're gonna. Oh, I really wanna make this though. So I feel like we can start this with clear epoxy this fish bowl and we'll just do clear epoxy to there. I'm going to use molding epoxy. This is actually, this is a hollow mold. So you're going to have to do it in layers anyway. So I feel like the first layer, no matter what is going to be clear. Um, so we're going to do that, but I'm also kind of excited about this one, this bag one, because I want to put some bubble glitter in it, like bloop, bloop, bloop. 
for my um it's puking snow you want to cry oh no not yet the zoom count if so yes no i mean zoom counts but that's not what i was looking for um i'm really excited about this fishbowl mold I'm really excited about this i'm really excited see it looks like a looks like a fishbowl We should do a where you from post and people who live close can meet up, right? All right. Um, what's up, Carla Davis? What's going on, girl? All right. So let's move on to my, oh, I got to flip my bead mold. I'm going to flip my bead mold. Is it hard? Yeah. Flip the mold. I'm going to flip my cup this way. My husband is considering getting a new computer and he's asking me my thoughts on an airbook. I said, I like it. Your book's outstanding. All right. All right. I'm going to take these off because we're going to be doing glitter it's time for the glitter the glitter the glitter do, 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 do. and we're gonna use some tacket and then later we'll use epoxy right before the end of the live because i don't want to keep the cats out yet pearl's being all nice and good and she did i keep hitting 10 seconds that's why it's taking so long um Pearl's good, and she did not poop on the floor last night, so we're on good terms, right? Right, Pearl Pearl? We're on good terms. Eliza's got the, there's two different levels of the cat tree, and Eliza's on top right now. She doesn't get to be on top very often. And sometimes Pearl will go into the bottom level and, like, attack her from the bottom, which is, like, we all know from watching, like, like combat movies that that is not optimal positioning. Eliza usually jumps down. She gives in. She gives in a lot. All right, we're gonna move. I think I'm gonna move this over to my crafting table. Move the beads. We'll cure it up later. We'll cure it up. Oh, I don't know if it's gonna reach that far. How far does my extension cord reach? Yeah. It reaches just fine. Your cats attack from below too. Yeah, it's so weird. Melissa, we have talked about doing a crafters weekend. Um, here's the thing is that it's very expensive for everybody to come together in one place. And we don't want anybody to feel left out. Like, um, Pam, I don't, I hope you don't care. It's a big state. People won't find you, but like, some people are coming from California. Some people are coming from New Hampshire. Some people are coming from Texas. Some people are coming from Michigan. So, like, that's a lot of money to bring people all into one spot. And I know that people get to, like, make that decision on their own. So we have talked about it. I just don't know if it's going to happen, when it's going to happen, all the things. You're way up in upstate New York, near Canada, Vermont, and it's been snowing all day. Oh, Betty. No. Nope, I'm not a snower. I don't like the snow. I don't want to be near the snow. Mm -mm. No. All right. So I summer had this. Summer had this image. This burst image is called sunrise burst image. Oh, Patty does not have any goldfish. Boo! Thanks, anyways. All right, so Summer had this burst image, right? And it's like all of these like sunbursts coming out from a single point. And I thought it looked so, so beautiful. However, this cup is already beautiful in, in itself. And so I don't actually want to cover up too much of the ombre. So I want to celebrate this ombre. And so I'm actually going to take off the majority of this and... um 
and then just put on the lines. And I think that, well, let me just show you. Let me take off the big stuff first. Um, and then we're going to hand glitter over it and see if we can't put it on the cup. All right. So we're going to take out this big Mamma Jamma first. What a waste, right? Right? What a waste. What a waste. All right. So then we got a line. And then we're going to do... Um, And then we're going to do this in a glitter color. So I think we're going to do, let's just mark this, right? So we're going to do a glitter color there. We're going to do a glitter color there. We're going to do a glitter color there, a glitter color there, a glitter color there, and a glitter color there. So glitter, 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 glitter. All right. Which means I need to take out the center piece. And that's going to be like our color that still shines through. So let's just take this piece out right here. So then that's going to be my ombre cup that already shows through. All right. We're going to take out this center piece. Oh, you don't have to be careful. I need to be careful. All right, so I'm gonna take out this center little burst there. And then we're gonna take out this little burst right here. And then this little burst right here. And this little burst right here. Right, and so these are the ones that are gonna show through. So that's gonna be my thing that shows through there. Right? We're all talking this through together. So that goes down. So there is a line in between these um, that I have not taken off yet. And I'm gonna show you guys in just a second. Um, it's like an outline and I'm wondering if I should keep it in here so that, um, I'm wondering if I should keep it in as like a, um, like a buffer. I don't know. Probably not. as like a buffer for my cup. Maybe not. See, there's two little lines. See if you guys can see, there's two little lines on either side. I guess we don't need it. I guess we can pull them up. Because we only really need, I don't know how to do this, guys. I'm just, I'm still thinking this through. I'm still thinking this through. All right, so anywhere where you see blue right now is going to be the original color of my cup. And then mm -hmm. the all of these are going to be glitter colors of our choosing. And I think that we should choose some glitter colors that kind of um, like complement it, but are slightly darker than what our cup is. And so I think that we're going to choose those colors together. 
sorry, this was a bad idea to put that there. Oh, our bead's done. It's time to pop out our bead. So we're just bouncing between projects here. We're, this is our second bead that we popped out. This one we domed. Let's see if it worked any better. That's how easy it is to get the beads out. Mm, I don't love doming it. I don't think that was a great idea. I mean, it's fine. It's fine. It's just not awesome. It's definitely rolly. It's round, that's for sure. See, doming it now means that I need to take my X-Acto in here and woo, cut my fingers off. Get your X-Acto in there and just kind of like make a little hole. Kick out any pieces of glitter in there. You know. Pop through. <clears throat> There you go. I will probably shave that off. I feel like doming was not the best idea. I'm going to shave that off or switch these two beads. All right. Back to this. Back to this. All right. So we're taking off this little sheet. Ooh, we want to keep the big fat ones on. Because that's going to be where the glitter sits. Oh, look at that. Sergeant or Tank is being annoying. All right. So this is it. This is our cuff. And so now we got to figure out how to put that on there, which means I got to get some transfer tape to transfer the good stuff. I mean, how cheap are you guys? Do you cut this off and then um, try to like, save it in case you need it? I do. I do. All right. We're going to save that little scrap. Now we got to get a piece of transfer tape. We're going to transfer this down, and then we're going to try and roll it onto our cup. Godspeed on this one, right? Right? I like the pattern for the tumbler. Is it going to be, it's going to be pretty. I mean, we hope so. We hope so. We hope so. All right. This is the sunrise pattern that's, I don't know if Summer came up with it or Morgan came up with it. Somebody came up with it. Um, transfer tape. It was in the transfer tape drawer. Oh, this one's strong grip. I feel like that's not what we want, is it? It's not even big enough. Rut row. Um, guys, oh, here's some notes. That's not any tape. Well, this isn't great. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I think this is the crappy transfer tape that's like really light. It doesn't like to transfer anything. We'll find out. We'll find out. <gasps> Well, that looks like a good length. These scissors suck. I really need to just like throw them away and just use my little Ian Rose scissors. They're so much better. Look, those are gonna cut. All right. So what we're doing here. 
I'm gonna reroll this up. All right, what we're doing here is we're gonna put this tra these these designs on the transfer tape, and then we're gonna roll it onto our bottle. In theory, your phone is dying. Oh no! Now you have to get in your laptop and cook it. No strong grip, right? You like the Duck brand adhesive liner for transfer tape. Oh. Hmm. I don't know. I usually just use whatever I steal from summer, but I made the mistake in going to buy my own. All right, this is how I get a large sheet of transfer sheet onto an image, right? I just fold off the, the one little bit right there. And then I stick it to my guy like this. Right. Voila. Voila. He's transferred. He's on there. All right. He's on there. Hopefully. Right. And then we're going to take our little squeegee to the little thing. Come on, you jerk. We got our little squeegee tool, and I learned a lesson the hard way um, that you need to use the furry side um, when you push this stuff down. Because if you don't, it could rip your, your, your transfer tape. So I'm just going to push this down. Make sure that that image is pushed down all the way to the ends. All the way to the ends. And then we're going to lift it off. Try to lift it off. All right. Wow, that came off. Went to go. Transfer tape. All right. So that's on there. Now we're going to put our cup down. I'm going to use the flat side. All right. I don't know how to do this. All right. Well, well. Well, uh, I guess it's best to line the bottom up and go out. So I'm just going to pick a spot. I mean, you know, I'm going to look at my cup and I'm going to find the part that I want open to for people to see. Like, what's the best part of my cup? Probably right here is the best part of my cup. All right. This is the best part of my cup. So I'm going to have them go out from here. It's the best part of my cup. All right. Well, that's not what I wanted to do. Fortunately, this stuff is way more forgiving than the... Um, This is way more forgiving than, whatchamacallit, than instant transfer. So we can just put this down here. See you later, skater. We'll just push it up. Push it up. I screwed up. I screwed up, guys. I pulled the wrong side. Because I want this to be the glitter color. So I screwed up. Crapola.
this was supposed to be the color glitter, so I was supposed to pull this one and leave the others. Right? Why didn't somebody tell me? Why didn't somebody tell me? Boo. That, why didn't somebody tell me? I mean, I guess like this only works this way if I want to cover up all that beautiful glitter and spray paint it, which I don't. I want that glitter to be the star. So guess what, guys? I'm going to save this for another project another day. Boo. 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 I'm gonna put this silly thing back on. Save this piece of instant transfer. Or save this piece of whatever. We're gonna recut this. We're gonna start all over again. Start all over again. Except for, I think I put this. Yeah. Oh, now we gotta cut it again. That's lean thoughts. What does Summer say to that? Farts and tarts. She did it backwards. I did. You were supposed to do it the other way. Thanks, guys. You're like 20 minutes too late. Boom! Farts and tarts. Well, while well, the cricket's cutting, it'll give us time to pick some new glitter colors, I guess. Blurb, 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 blurb. Did I use the last of the white? Oh. I didn't. There was a whole roll of it. I know there was a whole roll of it, but where did I put it? I feel like I used the white because there was a lot left. Is that 631? I guess I could use the one now. Don't worry, I got more. That's dumb, huh? That's super dumb. Super dumb. This is silly. So dumb. Well, at least I figured out what's going on with the Wi-Fi on my uh, Cricut networks now. You guys, I feel like we were doing so good until we weren't. And it would have been so much easier just to do it the right way. Make it. Continue. Tammy Wayne. 
I bought a used one. The new ones are too more too expensive. So I found a group for used ones with parts. I found a group for like used ones with parts and somebody in my area was selling one at a deep discount. And so I did. I bit the bullet and I got one. Jeff and his big old muscles carried it for me. Him and my best friend, Rebecca, the one that I went to Punta Cana with, her husband and my husband carried this thing. And it is heavy. It's like 250 pounds for the middle piece and then 150 pounds for each of the side pieces. I mean, I feel like I should have paid him more than a Frappuccino. <laughs> him a Frappuccino and a cookie for helping me. Uh, yeah, I got a really good deal. Actually, um, I posted something to the moderators today. There's a lady in, um, in San Diego, which coincidentally I'm going there on Saturday. Um, with a van. Um, but there's a lady in San Diego whose brother just passed away and she was offering the dream box for free with all the things inside, but you had to come pick it up by Saturday. And I was like, where was this a week ago? I would have like literally flown down there. Like so fast. I know I came a long way from my little tote for sure. I also saw one but it was like brown colored and I didn't want it. But I also saw one for like $800, which was um, a steal as well. So yes, you can find them much cheaper used, gently used. Mine was um, purchased in 2020 and my owner is a non-smoker and she just, she was a paper crafter and she, moved up her stash into a full-size room her wife let her convert a room into a craft room so she didn't need this anymore she had outgrown it and her paper crafts were incredible um yeah you hope they were good cookies i mean mary i wouldn't have done it for a cookie and a frappuccino i'm just saying thank goodness it's on casters that's all i'm saying and that my husband really likes me a lot. So. She also gave me receipts so I can write it off. It was a good find for sure. These. Um, and I have one side that's completely empty still. And I have it um, used. So. Put my crick cat inside there, and she's my crick cat. I don't know if you guys can see the little cats on her. I took the Little and Rose semi transparent vinyl and decorated my crick cat with cats. So now she's doing the crick cat thing. She's almost done. It's 80%. 80%, guys. We're almost there. You'll fit it in no time. The left side has all these pups and stuff. Oh no. FedEx just drove by. That's the dog's least favorite. I, my FedEx driver looks like a Ken doll, though. It's very funny. And I saw him one time and I was like, I'm really sorry about the dogs. He's like, I'm really sorry for your windows because the dogs just absolutely put bananas at him and slaughter all and jump at the windows. I'm like, those windows better not fail. Or our FedEx driver. Yeah, 250 pounds of slobber and kisses all over him. They sound ferocious. But... So let's talk about real quick while we're waiting for this cricket to finish. Um, the new things on the website today, there's um, two molds, which is a fish bowl and a fish bag. Like this is the bag that you get from like carnivals and stuff. Um, and then there's all of these amazing like coffee and books right here and that's the one that we're gonna um put on this green tumbler i believe and then we have um these adorable um hot chocolate mugs and then for those of you that are into gnomies we have coffee gnomes galore coffee gnomes galore all right 
folks. Let's try this again. Yes, I've been using the pink Cricut mat. I just, the green ones are too dirty. The pink one works fine. It's fine. I mean, I'm not cutting fabric anyways. Oh, there goes FedEx. He's not even coming over today. All right. So what we decided, what did we decide? Now we need to remove the big ones and leave the little ones, right? All right. Let's try this again. Betty, where did I get the design from? I got it from Summer Stash of Designs. I have no idea where it's from. I just know that I've been searching for it forever. It's called Sunrise. Um, I'm sure you can find it somewhere. Now this is what, oh. this is what we meant to do. All right. And then. We're not going to fill this in with glitter, but I'm going to take it out just so it doesn't clog up our cup. Yeah, she gets them on Etsy usually. Penny, I um, am putting a burst on this cup so that we can glitter it and um, try not to screw it up. That's what we're trying to do here. I mean, I guess I can't use that big old sheet of, or can I? You guys think that I can reuse use this big sheet? Like, can I just like put these guys back on their home? I feel like it, right? Go back on your home, let me use this sheet. Yeah, look at that, that's working. Back in your home and let me use this sheet. Yeah, look at that. Aha! All right, guys. We're, ooh. Almost forgot to take off this outline border piece. See, I don't think I need this other border that's on there either, but it, um, but I'm not prepared to take it off just yet. Well, All right, here we go. Well, I just ripped a piece off that I wasn't planning to rip off. So we're gonna have to wing that one. Um, but I think the rest is okay. Um, I actually, I don't want this long border piece. I don't think. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just going to use it for now. And I can always take it off later, right? Mm. 
right, we're gonna take our little thing and just put it down. See if we can't get the stick again as well as the other one did. All right. We're, this is um temporary vinyl. This is like um so we're gonna peel this up. This is just to give us like like lines for our this is just to give us lines for the um the glitter that we're gonna put down. It's literally just a stencil for me. Um so that I don't go over so don't go over because the most important thing for us is to um, the most important thing for us is to preserve this um, to preserve these spaces right all right this is this is the area of my cup that I want to um, that I think the design is the best on and so we're going to try and make our V split splittastic. Like I said, these lines are going to come up eventually. So I'm not super concerned about um i'm not super concerned about them um like i said i'm going to i'm just using them as as a stencil so that when i place my um so that when i place my my glitter down, I have like a coloring book, essentially, um, to, to run my lines in. We're gonna sort out this little border piece in just a minute too. Ooh, that almost matched up. What I should have done is like cut it in the middle and then match these guys up. Is that gonna go all the way across, I wonder? It does go all the way across. I'm gonna change what I'm doing here. So my concern, my bigger concern here, right, is making sure that the other ends match up because this can be faked. Right, so I'm just gonna cut this real quick. And we're gonna place this on a different way. So this is on, we know this is on, we're cool. Like whatever, this is cool, this is on. It's on, we're not really moving it. We got the places where we got the places where we want the places. There's a couple little lumps and bumps, but it's fine. Like I said, I'm only using it for a stencil for these parts. Um, but then instead of Instead of lining it up the other way, I would really like these guys to marry, to match up. So I'm actually going to match it up this way, right? And then we'll go backward. You guys see what I did there? Because this is gonna be more noticeable to match up than the front. The front can be cheated. All day, I can cheat this front. 
but this part I feel like is going to be really hard to cheat. Yeah, that's going to be really hard to cheat. So there. Right? Because in theory, yeah, here we go, guys. I'm going to show you. All right. That needs to stay on. All right. So let's get rid of some of the stuff that we don't need. Right? Like this, and like this, and like this. We can get rid of this. I know you guys are stressing out about this, but don't stress out because, right? We remember we just, I told you that we just needed like, a, um, we just needed a guideline because we're going to, um, it's going to be filled in with glitter. Like the, the pieces are going to be filled in with glitter. So I'm going to show you what I meant by that. There to there. So what I'm doing here is I'm just picking up this um this uh this section. And we're just sliding it down slightly so that we can cheat this. So that it marries up to the other one. Hmm. We're going to do the same thing with this one. And I'm taking the back of the X-Acto that's not sharp and I'm just putting it under where the tape's already at and just lifting it up and then just repositioning it. Whoops, I just ripped it. Sweet. We're doing all the glittering by hand too, so it's not really a huge deal because we can just eyeball it. There we go. There we go. And this is being peeled up, so don't freak out, you guys. Like, literally, don't freak out because we're just using this as a. Um, we're just using this as a, a marker. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
So you guys can see this one's a little crooked too. So I'm just going to take my X-Acto. I'm just going to go in here where it's a little crooked with the non-sharp side of the X-Acto. And I'm just lifting up the tape slightly so I can just straighten it out, eyeball it, and straighten it out. You guys are going to see what I'm talking about in just a second here when we start glittering. All right. So now. All right. The only parts of this that are going to get glittered is this, 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 this. And then we're going to pull all this tape off. So these are literally. Um, like placeholders or whatnot. Because we want the glitter to, um, to, to marry all the way through. You see what I'm saying? So we're going to, um. We're just going to clean these out too. There you go. There's one. There's two. There's three. I mean, it doesn't even matter because these are coming off anyways, so. Okay, so we're going to hand glitter all of this. And now we have to decide on the colors, guys. Let's get rid of all of this. This is where we're at. I actually might do one more here. Just to make this a little more asymmetrical. Or a little more symmetrical, rather, not asymmetrical. There we go. Mm -hmm. All right. So there we go. So let's talk about colors. So just the white strips will have glitter. No. Um, this is all going to be glitter right here, right? I'm using the white stripes so that I have, so that I can be messy with my Mod Podge and, um, or my Tacket rather. I can be messy with it. And then those are going to pull off to be clean lines. It's literally just a stencil. Hey, thanks, guys. Um, yeah, we have 100,000 subscribers on this channel. Uh, Summer's worked really hard for that. So um, you guys are great. So let's talk about colors. We've got, I feel like we should do, like, monochromatic also. Like, maybe do, like, darker versions of these. Like, like a deep purple, purple, purple to like fuchsia. 
is kind of what I'm thinking. Um, like Stedman. Um, what else do we have here? Yarrow. Let's wait for him. Let's wait on Yarrow. Um, we have Cameron. We have Adam. And we got um, Drake. Oh, we've got this um, Glitterati mix, which would be cool. We've got Seeger, which would be cool. Hitchcock, uh, Live Mix 82. We've got sub March Subbox. We've got Luther. We've got, who is this? Dallas. And we got Naveen. Does anybody have any suggestions other than purple? You were worried that I was gonna cover up all that ombre. No way, girl. No way. All right, so let's pick, do we wanna do one color for each of these? Or do we want to do, um, like, or do we want it to, um, cause we could just do Stedman across the whole thing, or we could just do live mix 82 across the whole thing. Um, we could also do Cameron across the whole thing, which would be very beautiful. Stedman's so pretty. Still have a copy of and finished with him in chaos. Adam is a good one. Adam would be good too if we want to go like red and just like change the hue all together. I do feel like Dallas would be pretty amazing, but I don't know if Dallas is too close to this purple. A rose gold would be pretty. I hadn't thought of that. Let's see. We've got a ton of rose golds. You guys, all of these glitters are available on iwantglitter.com. You guys know this. Um, Let's see what do we got for rose gold. Where am I keeping rose golds? I'm keeping rose golds in another box with golds. Oh. Rose golds we have. Uh, I think live mix 11 is a little too light. Oh, wait. Hold the phone before we have Dakari, who's amazing. Dakari is a, a chunky mix. We have Shepherd, which um, skews a little pink. I feel like he would be cool. We have Palmer, which I think would be really cool. Dixon's too dark. Marley's too yellow. Too brown. Calvin would be cool, or, oh, who's that? Or Athos, this is one of my favorites. I think Athos is too yellow, though. All right, so let's talk about these colors that we have here. We've got Palmer. Palmer is a holographic fine, which I feel like would be really, like, a nice contrast because this, so much of this cup is chunky. So Palmer could be really beautiful. Kelvin, now that I'm looking at it, I feel like Kelvin might be too gold. Like, it might be too much, like, in your face. Um, so we're going to put Kelvin away. How about a universal white? We could do universal white. When I move, you don't know what you're going to do with over 750 glasses. You're going to use them all, Henry. I feel like Shepard would be really cool if we want to stick with the chunks. I feel like Dakari might be too fat. Dakari's like super fat boy, but I love him so much. Um, what do we think about? Okay, so our short lists are Stedman, Palmer, Adam. And I think that we said that all these purples were too close, right? Okay, 
I feel like these are our, this is where we're at. We, we could also do multiples. So mix of Shepard and Palmer. There's Adam. I mean, I think there is Palmer in Shepard. Maybe not. Palmer is a little more gold and I'm sorry, Palmer's a little more rose gold than Shepard. Okay. Stedman. Okay, so Stedman is going to be very similar, I guess. So it's going to go like this. That's Stedman. We've got Adam, who's like a stark contrast. I feel like Adam is beautiful, but with all of this like iridescent and holographic, I feel like Adam is like a no for me. Adam's a no for me, guys. All right. So we've got Palmer, who would be very contrasty. And but he's fine. Right? Which I feel like. And then we've got Shepard, which would be like very chunky. I'm actually feeling like it's between Palmer or Stedman. What are we thinking, guys? And keep in mind, we can go like Palmer down to Stedman, but I feel like we should just do one. How'd you get the tape off the top? You missed it. Oh, I heated up my X-Acto knife on a candle and I, um, I just kind of like sawed it off. Like I turned my X-Acto knife into a hot knife. Pam Lambert saying Palmer, Tisha saying Palmer. I'm feeling a lot. I'm feeling everybody's feeling Palmer here. All right. Palmer it is, guys. Palmer it is, right? Because we want warm. We don't want silvers, right? Let me see what other choices we got here. Blake is too peach, right? I feel like Palmer is where we're going with this. Sorry, Stedman. I keep trying to use you, buddy. I keep trying to use you, Stedman. Cleaver. What is cleaver? Right? Because there's, you could do silver also, but I just feel like silver is boring. Let's go warm. Let's go Palmer. I still don't know what this cup is for yet, but whatever. We're going to sort it out. All right. So this is, we're using Palmer. That's where we're going. It'd pull the mix of colors out. Personia said she'd be dying after because she was thinking silver or black. That's funny. I, I, I want to do, I think I'm going to stick to warm. I think we're sticking to warm, guys. All right, let's get out a paintbrush and let's tack it, baby. Let's tack it. No, yes. Forgot the paintbrush. We just talked about this, didn't we? All right. All right. I'm going to use a flat tipped brush. I'm just trying to decide which one I want to use. Let's do the fatter one. All right. We're going to use a flat tip brush because we can get like a good angle with it. Um, and we're just going to, um, put some tacket in there. Um, yeah, we're going to put some tacket in there. Let's also get out. You guys, we sell these in case you don't know. I'm sure you guys know. We sell these little, um, silicone mixing cups. sell these silicone mixing cups. They're like under a dollar. They're super easy to clean. They're better for the environment. Like whatever. And they, they're like nice little pods to hold your stuff. So I like to use those. 
So that's what I'm going to stick my, um, they're like under a dollar on the website, like maybe like, I don't know, 60 or 80 cents or something. All right. Are you going to add paint to your tacket? No. I'm just doing Palmer right over it. Should I be adding paint to my tacket? Everybody loves Vader. Vader is like the crown jewel. Vader is our best selling glitter of all time. Vader and Bow. Oh, I need to decide up here where I want that to stop. Like, do I want this to go all the way up in here? We could. Let's do it. Let's make it go all the way up. Right? Let's do it. It's my cup. I get to do whatever I want. All right, so this is so this is the cool thing about these little lines. I'm using these lines as a stencil, so I can be as sloppy nappy as I want, um, and I don't have to worry about the glitter because we're gonna pull these tape lines up anyways, and it's gonna be super straight. Super duper, super duper straight. And if it's not, we'll probably end up doing striping tape anyways, so it's not lost. And guess what, guys? I don't even need to, oh, I don't even need to, like, be good right here because I can just go over all of it, right? Because theoretically, these are my stencil lines. I should have pushed them down a little harder, huh? like that right there oops well well all mistakes are hidden with striping tape it's fine guys it's fine everything's fine we're gonna be fine all mistakes are hidden with striping tape So this is tacky that we're putting down and it's like a wet glue that it dries tacky and then you can just put your um, your stuff right on it. Now here is the thing is that I think I'm going to have to do one side and then the other. I'm just going to try and like go down this V. Apparently there's some goop on my brush because this tacket is like turning brown. So my brush might not be the cleanest ever either. It's fine. Everything's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Whatever. We're not worried about it. I'm worried about, remember I took that middle spot out because I was like, it's okay. Cause I'm just gonna be like really careful. And then guess what? I'm not being very careful. It's fine. It's not fine. Nothing's fine. Keep buying Vader and Ocean. I was worried that one day they'd either change or become un unavailable. I mean, hey, that is not an irrational fear. Um, we actually had a real problem with Vader and that we were having a hard time matching it for a really long time. Um, but we sorted it out eventually. But yeah, Vader, Vader was on the struggle bus for a while for us. All right, let's get my parchment paper out. I will say, guys, that having this box, this craft solution, um, does make me more likely to put things away because I have because everything has a place. So there's no reason for me to like not put it in its place, you know. All right. Mm -hmm. 
I heard you can take a heat gun to make this. So basically when this, oh, what did I decide to do up here? Was I gonna, I was gonna go all the way up, right? Or just to this. Um, you basically, when this isn't foggy anymore and there's no clumps left, it's ready to go from what I understand. So what I just did is I put parchment paper down and the parchment paper in theory is going to catch all of the runaway glitter. And then I can scoop it back up and put it back into my bag so I don't waste glitter. Stand it up to do both sides. That would have been smart, Tish. But I feel like I'm going to need to, like, stick my hand in here and, like, turn it and stuff. So we're not going to do that. I'll stand it up on the, on the other side, like, later. I'm going to move this silicone thing away. And I'm also going to put this over my existing Mod Podge or my existing tacket so that I don't get glitter in my tacket. All right. All right, oops. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to kind of shimmy the cup sideways so that we get the glitter inside there. There it is, guys. We need to make a decision whether we're going to burnish this down or not. That's another thing that we need to decide. All right. So we got this like this. So far, it's looking like this. Um, we're going to put this guy down like so. And we're going to pick up this parchment paper which is already folded, right? So there's already a, a little channel that we can then just put all of the used glitter in there. And voila, we've got another full bag of glitter so that we're not wasting our cup. Oh, I just touched it. Crap. All right, well, I just touched it somewhere and I don't see where. All right, so you guys can see that this glitter duster brush is going to then like brush anything away from wherever we don't want it. So let's use our little paint brush on this other side here. I like holding it. I don't know why. I like holding the cup. All right. Um, ooh, I almost put it in the wrong spot. All right. So we're going to go here. I'm going to go here. All right, so these, again, these, these, um, these white lines are literally only meant to be stencils. Um, so they're not going to be uh, real lines that we're using. We're going to pull these, um, we're going to pull these white lines up afterwards. Here we go. You guys, today we're using um, Palmer glitter on this cup. 
And this is um, uh, this is Oliver down here, um, followed by a live mix glitter, followed by a glitter called Aramis, and then followed by another glitter called Legend. And so we ombre that, and then um, we ombre that, and then put epoxy over it and now we are adding a second coat using the tacket method so we're using tacket to add some glitter I put this tacket in a separate little container right here because um, there's a good chance that there's going to be contamination because there's already some glitter down. So, ooh, this line got a little wonky right here. I must have touched it. Alrighty, so there we go. Hopefully, hopefully, I'm gonna put a little more like just like I'm doing my little glitter duster brush and kind of go this way a little bit anywhere where there's not already glue. And I'm just gonna hit it again. We might have to go over some places that already have glitter on it, so they might get a second coat. But I want to make sure the whole thing is coated which might include some places getting double coated. It's fine. All righty. So now we just have to wait for this to dry. While it's drying, I'm actually going to um, take this uh, as a wet... Um, let me put this down real quick. This is a wet wipe or whatever, and I'm going to put it around my little stir stick here that creates a flat edge. And I'm just gonna run it around anywhere where I don't want there to be, um, like I don't want the glitter to go over this line down here. So I'm just gonna like make sure that it didn't get into this little section by wiping the tacket, wiping what could be tacket away. And I'm gonna do the same thing up here And I realized that we forgot to do the top of this one. All right. So I feel like this is in a good spot here. There's a little bit of um, coloring right here. So we're just going to give it a second so that it doesn't clump up on us. This may be a dumb question. Why are we using tacket instead of double-sided sticky paper? Because I want to preserve this ombre that I've already created. So if you did the double-sided sticky paper, um, then it would be like clear over this. And I don't want to cover this up. Like this, this part of my tumbler is done. Um, and we're just using these white parts as a stencil. So... Um, that's why. I hope that explains the question. It's not a dumb question. Because I had originally thought of using double-sided adhesive, but I didn't want to cover up my, um, I didn't want to cover up my good stuff. So I just usually turn the tumbler towards, in the direction that um, I want the glitter to stick. 
So if I have, if I wanted to go, if I wanted to go backwards that way, I'll go that way with it, but I want it to go this way. And so I'm shimming it down just to help the glitter go in the direction that I want it. All right, so hopefully all the spots that I want covered are covered. We'll see. We'll see how it worked out. So I'm just going to give this bottom a tap. Let any extra glitter off the hook here. I'm just going to hold it by the tape right here and put it down so I can preserve this glitter. And then we will pull the tape and see what happens. See, we made a good choice with Palmer. It's yet to be determined. All right. I feel like we should get this thing out. Because, so this is from the dollar store. It's a paper towel holder. Um, I think it's going to save my, I think it's going to save my hands a little bit while I'm holding this. So now we have to I'm going to come up like this with you guys. All right. So we've got this tumbler tape right here. So we're going to pull this off. That's a nice line. And then theory in theory Okay, and then in theory, if I pull this little bit here, the whole sunrise should also come up. All right, let's see what happens. spaghetti. Oh, I'm really glad that we did this kind of color that is like a little off shooty. Um, I think you guys are going to really like it when I turn it around. A couple more, hold on. I'm trying to do this so you guys can see it. And it's a lot harder to do it for the camera than it is to 
if I did it from my side. I'm trying to give you guys like the ASMR of the peel. Looks like there's one more. Nope. Looks like there's still one more. Maybe two. Man. Still one more. Sorry, guys. Forgot to um, glitter duster brush this off. Oh, there's another piece right here. So there's some of these. Like this one, I went over a little bit, and so there's a little, there's a little bit of glitter that got some runaway glitter, which is fine. We can just scrape it off. It's fine. Um, do I have a little runaway there? I do. All right. I mean, this looks pretty cool, guys. Um, I do love the way that that came together perfectly. I think that lining it up both ways was definitely the way to go here. Um, I don't know. Do you guys think I should burnish this or no? Palmer is now one of your favorites. Yeah, this is Palmer. I think he's absolutely gorgeous. Um, and so I am probably going to end up. Hold on. Let's let me just look at it from afar. Yeah, he looks good. It looks like angel's wings from afar. I don't know if you guys can can see what I'm talking about. It's like almost too glittery for you guys to see the contrast. It looks angel wingy. I do think we could have gone dark purple. Like knowing that like all of it comes up this way, I think the dark purple would have looked really cool. Um, but I think it's beautiful. I'm really happy with it, guys. Good work. Good work, everyone. I'm just looking to make sure that we got all the little pieces off. I do have. I'm really glad I didn't do the bottom also because then I have the ability to touch and hold the bottom. That's really nice. There, that's where we landed, guys. So I still got to keep my beautiful ombre. Um, yeah, I think it looks cool. It would be really neat to put some kind of um, instant transfer or something right here where the burst's out so that there's like a reason for it bursting out. So I'll have to look through what we got and see. But this is Palmer. Yeah, Pearl, what do you got to say? All right, so we're going to do this. So what I'm going to do now, um, not this immediately right now, but next, eventually, is I'm going to cover that with about five layers of um, 
I'm going to cover that with about five layers of uh, 2x spray paint so that um, we don't so that none of that travels um, and then we will um, and then we'll put a layer of epoxy on it and then we'll see what else we got to do. Like, I feel like we need to do some striping tapes. I feel like we need to add at least some, I, I got to add some words or a name or something on there as well. I know my friend Tanya has requested a second cup because she lost her tennis cup. Um, so she might get that. Um, I'm not sure yet. I also kind of wish we would have burnished that. But I don't actually know how to do it. Was you intending it to look like a sunset tumbler because you nailed it? Yeah, sure. That's exactly what I was looking for. It's exactly what I was going for. Yeah, it's really cool, huh? What time is it? 5.15. All right, guys. Um, ooh, we were going to um, kick the cats out real quick. And do a quick layer of um, uh, molding epoxy inside this fish bowl and this fish bag. So that, and I'm gonna go get some um, goldfish tonight, and then tomorrow we can stick some goldfish crackers inside here and see what we can do with these um, little goldfish. This is a goldfish bag, like the ones you get from the carnival. And this is, um, oh my God, I do have shark glitter which would be kind of fun to have like little sharks in this little fish bowl. Um, so let's fill this up. Let's kick these little, let's kick these cats out and um, let's do some molding epoxy real quick. Hey, who wants to go out there? Yeah, oh, good job, Eliza's gone already. Pearl, you gotta go. You don't gotta go home, but you can't stay here. See you later, bye everyone, bye Pearl. this turn the light on let's see I got my drop crotch pants on I look like a teenager today with my high tops um we are going to use a lot of epoxy so I'm going to grab this I'm going to grab this big cup put it in my gloves my gloves are right there we're going to grab the poor molding epoxy Million Rose Deep Pro Molding Epoxy. And we're also going to grab the scale. We're also going to grab my mask. All right, so I did want to talk to you guys about something because I don't know, I feel like we've talked about this, but my husband keeps the house at Arctic temperatures, which is why I have a heater like literally right next to me. So he keeps the house at Arctic temperatures. And my molding epoxy part A crystallized. Um, it was absolutely rock hard. Um, and so last week, this is last week, he literally keeps my house at like 50 degrees. No, 60 degrees is what he usually keeps the house at, which is too cold for me. Um, but somewhere along the lines, my molding epoxy got very, very cold and crystallized. And so what you do is you boil water and then you put it in like, well, it's like to go soup containers or whatever. And then you just stick this in there for 10 minutes and it's good as new. Again, it's, it's clear and I've used it and it's wonderful and it's good to go. So if that happens to you because it gets, it was really cold during shipping or whatever, your molding epoxy is not dead. Um, you just have to, uh, you just have to um, give it a hot bath, but don't put it right into the pot because then you should not use the pot for cooking ever again. So I put it in like one of those, um, those soup containers, those to-go soup containers. Um, and yeah, and you guys will see when I'm pouring it out today, you guys will see it's crystal clear. It's beautiful. This is going to be beautiful. All right. So we're going to turn this on. Let's see. I bet this bowl is probably the same as this cup. And I want to fill it. 
because I want it to be clear and then I'm going to do blue tomorrow. So I'm going to fill it halfway up and then a little extra for my baggie. So let's tar this. I also like to do the thinner one first. I do the bigger one first. I don't know about you guys. So I think I'm going to do, well, I'm just going to eyeball it because it's three parts of this. The molding epoxy is three parts to uh, three parts to one part. So we're going to do this, which is 50. That doesn't break up evenly. 50 and a half. So let's do 52. 48 divided by three would be 251. Okay, that's 51 divided by 3 is 17. So 51 for this one, and then I'm going to use 17 of this one. Oh, this doesn't open yet. Go figure. Well, that's just silly. Seventeen of this one. All right, the reason I do it like this is because I feel like this little bottle is easier to pour. It's easier to pour. That's all I've got for you. I think it's easier to pour. And then also, you're in big trouble if you run out of the big one. If you run out of the little, I don't know. I don't know why I do it this way. I just do. Um, so, yeah, the way I figured this out is I do three parts of the big one and one part of the little one. So I take whatever the big one is, and I divide that number by three, and that's how much of the little one that I have to put in. So we're just creating like the empty space part of the bag for um, for this. And what I think I'm going to do is I want there to be bubbles at the top of my fishbowl. Um, and so what happens is if you are at the top of my water lines. So what happens is if you use... Um, Molding epoxy, it's so viscous, it's so thin that um, the gl any glitter that you put in there is going to float to the to the very bottom of your mold, which the bottom of our mold would be the top of our bag. So I do not want to do that because I want the top of my bag to be clear, like cellophane. So and also the top of my bowl to be clear like cellophane. So or clear like glass, I guess. So. This is fully stirred. It's clear. And then we're going to pour it in there. I'm actually going to spray the inside of this with that alcohol if I can find it. But unless I lost it, I might have lost it. Yeah, I lost it. I wouldn't have put it back. Did I knock it on the floor? Oh uh, yeah. <coughs> Ew. You guys ever coughed in your mask? That's gross. Oh, it's right there. Like literally right in front of my face. All right, I'm just gonna spray in here so that and give it a little gushy gush so that if there is any air bubbles that um alcohol, 99 percent alcohol is gonna stop it. All right, so I'm just pouring a little bit past the rim. So my fishing bowl, so my fish bowl has a little bit of air in it before I create it. So we're gonna leave that there. And we're gonna take this little fish bag. Same thing. I'm gonna rub it with a little alcohol. And then we're gonna do this. So the cellophane top is now gonna be clear. Just gonna dump out some of that. I put like 
to put a lot in. All right, so we don't want our bag to have a whole lot of air because we want to have room for our fish. So we're going to put that in there. Let's get this guy a little bit more. All right. That's that. And that's that. I like to clean off my silicone sticks immediately. All right. And put is there anything that I need to epoxy together? Is there anything that needs to be repaired in here? Oh, you know what? I do have. Uh, that's already in there. That's on there good. We did this badge reel the other day with this rose mold. And that's on there good. I don't think that there's anything else I need to zhuzh up, is there? No, is there anything that needs a gloss coat on it? No, all right, well that's done. Um, so if you look inside here, there's not really any air bubbles. I'm gonna give it a little shake, shake, shake. So that any air bubbles that there are come to the top. And we can tell them, go away. That one just went away. There's one more. Come on. We'll spray the top. So that when he gets up to the top. All right. There's that one. Let's see our fish. I'm just gonna give my fish a little squish because this is um, the bottom of this has some like um some lips in it and I just want to make it looks like a seashell kind of I want to make sure that they all get in there that there's no air bubbles hiding out in there come on oh there's one air bubble not any more suckers see you later all right and that's it so the next step for these is I'm going to go to the store and I'm going to get some goldfish crackers and I'm going to cover the goldfish cracker in epoxy or clear spray paint. Somebody suggested this would actually be perfect to cover it in. If I had one, I could cover it in there. And then I'm going to place that little fish in there. And it's going to be awesome. So, yeah. Super excited for the fish molds, guys. All right. Um, we're going to go outside. And we're going to spray the bejesus out of this. And... Uh, yeah, I think it looks good. Thanks for the color suggestions, guys. And I think we nailed it. I think we nailed it. All right, guys. Thanks for coming today. I'll be back on tomorrow to um, do step two of our fish bowls. Um, on the website today, you've got the fish bowl, the fish bag. You've got these little Nomi coffee cups. You've got these amazing hot chocolate cups. And then you've got these awesome um, book cups with coffee, or books with coffee. Um, so these are the instant transfers that are on the website today. Books and coffee, books and coffee. Um, so check those out. Uh, yeah. Um, I think that that's it. I think that that's it. Oh, the, uh, don't forget to submit your battle box. You guys, there's a thread. Um, just a major battle box. Oh, that's what I could do. I could do one more bead mold. I don't think that there's enough in there for a bead mold. We can try it. I mean, what do we got to lose? What do we got to lose? Let's put a little glitter in there and see. Let's put a little glitter in there and see. We might not get a full bead. We might get a full bead. Who knows? 
who knows? I will tell you, molding epoxy goes in a lot easier than UV resin. That's for sure. We did. We got a full bead, guys. Yay for us. All right. Well, that worked. Then we got to use our excess epoxy. I'm so excited to have a bead mold. Give your bead mold a little squish. Make sure there's no air bubbles in there. Well, the dogs are being punks in case anybody's wondering. There's definitely an air bubble in there because when I, um, there we go. Alrighty. Well, you guys couldn't see. All right, you guys, you have a wonderful night tonight. Thank you for coming. Hop on the website, look around, see what we got. Summer did a crafts mix today too. Um, it's very, very beautiful. I can't remember I forgot about the crafts mix. Ooh, that would be really cute in this um, fishbowl, too. Mm. Ooh, you guys hop online. There's a crafts mix. There's new instant transfers. There's these two molds. Um, Battle Box is coming. And, um, yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye, guys.